Hello students, welcome to another lecture of Human Anatomy and Physiology and today we will be starting with a new topic that is Organization of Skeletal Muscle. In this particular topic, we will be studying in details about the structure of the skeletal muscle and what exactly are these muscles formed of, right? So let's start. So this is a basic structure of your skeletal muscle. Your skeletal muscle contains hundreds and thousands of muscle fibers and it is richly supplied with blood vessels and nerves, right? And throughout the muscle providing internal structures is a extensive network of connective tissue. So this particular image shows the basic structure of your skeletal muscle. Now coming to the explanation of the structure, so the entire muscle is covered in a connective tissue sheet which is termed as your epimysium which was mentioned in the previous slide. Now within the muscle the cells are collected into separate bundle and these bundles are called fascicles and each fascicle is covered in its own connective tissue sheet which is termed as perimysium. This was also mentioned in the previous slide where the image was mentioned, right? Now, within the fascicles, the individual muscle cells, they are wrapped in a fine connective tissue layer which is termed as endomysium. Each of these connective tissue layer, it runs the length of the muscle. They bind the fibers into highly organized structures and blend together at each end of the muscle to form tendon, right, which secures the muscle to bone. Now talking about the skeletal muscle fibers, so there are hundreds and thousands of muscle fibers which, you know, together form the skeletal muscle, right. So under the microscope, skeletal muscle cells, they are seen as cylindrical in shape which basically lie parallel to one another with a distinctive banded appearance consisting of alternate dark and light strips. Now individual fibers may be uh, very long up to 35 centimeter in the longest muscle. Each cell has several nuclei found just under the cell membrane which is termed as your sarcolemma. Now the cytoplasm of the muscle cell also called as your cytoplasm sarcoplasm it is packed with tiny filaments which run longitudinally along the length of your muscle and these are also termed as your contractile filaments they are responsible or they help in the process of contraction right and there are multiple number of mitochondria lying in the muscle fiber right now a specialized type of oxygen binding substance which is termed as myoglobin is also present which is very similar to hemoglobin which is present in your red blood cells and their function is to store oxygen within the muscle cell. Now talking about the contractile filament, there are two types of contractile filaments which are present within the muscle fibers. One is your thick filament and the other one is your thin filament, right, which are arranged repeatedly. Now the thick filament is made up of the protein which is termed as myosin and this is represented by dark bands in under the microscope and the thin filament is your actin which is seen as light band under the microscope now i'll be showing you the image of a single muscle fiber in the coming slide in that you will be able to see that each sarcomere is bounded at each end by a dense line which is termed as your z line to which the actin filaments are attached and under these actin filaments in the middle you will be able to see sarcomere and sarcomere are the myosin filaments which overlap the actin filament now this particular image uh, it shows a magnified image of your muscle fiber right in the muscle fiber you can see the sarcoplasmic reticulum you can see the thick filament that is your myosin and the thin filament that is your actin right and from one z disc to the other z disc this particular area is termed as your sarcomere so this is a microscopic structure of your muscle fiber 
now talking about the process of the contraction of your skeletal muscle right so the skeletal muscle cells they contract in response to the stimulation from a nerve fiber which supplies the muscle cell usually about uh, halfway along its length right so the name given to a synapse between a motor nerve and a skeletal muscle fiber is termed as your neuromuscular junction neuro deals with your brain muscular deals with your muscle cell and the junction between the two is termed as neuromuscular junction now when the action potential spreads from the nerve along the sarcolemma it is conducted deep into the muscle cell through a special network of channel that run through the sar uh, sarcoplasm and they release calcium from the intracellular stores we know that calcium is stored in the muscle cell right now the calcium which is released from the store this particular calcium triggers the binding of myosin to the actin filament next to it forming a cross bridge kind of a structure right when these cross bridges are formed atp then provides the energy for the two filaments to slide over each other pulling the z line at each end of the sarcomere closer to one another and as a result of which the length of the sarcomere shortens right so this particular theory is termed as your sliding filament theory right if enough fibers are stimulated to do this at the same time the whole muscle will shorten and shortening means the whole muscle will contract so this is basically the process of contraction then the muscle will relax when nerve stimulation stops if there is no signal from the brain then the muscle stimulation will stop right and the uh, muscle won't contract any more now the calcium is pumped back into the intracellular storage area which breaks the cross bridge between the actin and myosin filament which was formed earlier then they then they then slide back into their you know starting position lengthening the sarcomere and returning the muscle to its original length right so this is the process of contraction of your muscle cells so thank you so much dear students this was all in today's lecture today we started about the structure of your muscle cell and the process of contraction of muscle cells if you have any queries any doubt in today's lecture please feel free to reach out to me thank you for attending the class